Hello everyone, it is I, everyone's favorite internet sensation of bad reference. How are you doing this fine day, evening? I don't know why I'm uploading this, but hopefully it's gonna be today. Yes, that's right, ABR is back with his commentary bullshit. For what reason? Oh, I'll tell you a reason. If, if you don't already know, uh, TF2 is one of my favorite games of all time. And I've been playing it since 2014, 2015, or around then. And my god, my god, do I love TF2. I will continue playing TF2 until the day I die. Unfortunately, that might come sooner than later because TF2 is dying right now. And frankly, once TF2 dies, uh, you better believe it. I'm going down with it. Uh, if you don't already know, uh, TF2 has been b having a botting problem for two years. And Valve has done nothing, literally nothing, to fix this. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a tad bit. They did update a few things to what well, circumvent bots, but um, it's not working. You're probably saying to yourself, all right, ABR, get on with it. I'm getting on with it, so shut the fuck up. If you've been browsing Twitter, which I'm already sorry for you, you might have noticed that Valve has been trending a lot. Why has Valve been trending, you might be wondering. Well, because this YouTuber, Squim Jim, decided to make a video saying, hey, we need to actually do something to get Valve to do something about the botting problem TF2. Which we have for two years. Just a reminder, two years. And what he said was we should, you know, contact uh, gaming news outlets like uh, Kotaku, IGN, uh, whatever shitty website that I refuse to go on to get my news from. <laughs> but in all seriousness, uh, what well, he pushed the idea of uh, contacting journalists, uh, new, uh, gaming news outlets, and maybe just maybe something will happen. And guess what? IGN actually made an article on this. Matter of fact, a journalist from IGN actually went and played on TF2 and she was astonished that everything that we said was true. Everything that we said was true. And now we just got like a bunch of people like chipping in. So many people. We even got the voice actor for Medic. Robin Downs. Robin Downs, you fucking legend. Just when, just when the world needed him most, he actually came back. We called for help and the Medic came. Even the people behind Payday 2 even chipped in their support saying justice for t just did. <laughs> it's Payday, fellas! Recently in a terrible time playing TF2, not because of the game, because, uh, well, if you know, you know. I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm actually not gonna be playing TF2 until Valve fixes their bot, bot problem, and I'm gonna be only playing primarily on TF2 Classic until Valve does something. Unfortunately, in the current state of TF2, if I join a casual game, I run the risk of getting doxxed and bots just overrunning the server. If I join Uncle Topia, I run the risk of being steamrolled or just being on the winning team. Unfortunately, there is no in-between and there's really not much I can do there. Right now, I'm playing on a server that just has like a bunch of like custom weapons and it's absolutely insane. I'm like not that good with it because like I'm I'm fucking terrible at aiming. There is so many broken and just fun weapons. It's just pure chaos. It's like Overwatch on day one release, you know, when everyone was overpowered. And so technically speaking, everything was balanced. Yeah, but no, I I, I think they should fix the balancing and the custom weapons, please, please. Delivery launcher is actually broken, dude. What the fuck? 60 damage, 60 fucking damage. If you do play TF2, I highly recommend you get this mod because not only will you be taking a stand against TF2, the normal game by Valve, you'll also be having a wonderful experience in my opinion. I played it last time, last night on stream on twitch.tv forward slash a bad reference, and my god, I had a wonderful time just walking around with the, the super shotgun from Doom as soldier. Yes, you can do that, if only they enabled bunny hopping. God, I miss Open Fortress. If you want to help spread the word that TF2 has a terrible, very, very bad botting issue, then I recommend going out to gaming news outlets and, you know, emailing them. Don't harass them. That's terrible. And what you shouldn't do is what Tyler McVicker did. Dude, for love of God, for the love of God, do not go out of your way to harass the developers at Valve. That is a terrible thing. May maybe you sending them one email, but do not spam their inbox with just, I don't know, don't, don't, do not spam their inbox to fix TF2. This will and probably encourage them to delete TF2 because in all honesty, they, re they really don't give a fuck. <laughs> they didn't even contact IGN to put a word on this. Do, do you know how insulting that is? They didn't even contact IGN. 
IGN sent, uh, asked them, would you like to say a word or two on this? And they said nothing. They didn't respond. They were just like, I don't see a problem. In the end, I'm not looking for brand new content. I'm not looking for the heavy update. I just want to fix the botting issue. I just want to play the game that I grew up with. I just want to play the game. The reason why I'm sitting in front of you now talking about fixing Team Fortress 2. I have played this game since I was a kid. I mean, I'm basically still a kid. I'm not even 22 yet. And in all honesty, I, I miss TF2. And I'll do anything to get it back. 